his face and he ran like a flanker. Then the girl over put her hands on the ankles. I'm all over this ice cream beef like spray. Like What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all had a great weekend, a lot of fun, good food. I hope y'all having a blessed day today. If not, let me know in the comment section so I can do something to cheer y'all up. Shout out to the MVPs. Y'all been killing every single video. The best supporters in the community, hands down. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, become part of the fam, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Today we're going to go over some MLB The Show 21 tips on how to make stubs, who to flip, and who you should be investing in for the next roster update. Let's get into today's banker. AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off, plus if you use code fat, another 5% and finish collection. All right, so first we're gonna get on the market and we're gonna go over who you are able to flip for the fastest stub profit. Now, we got four different cards. If you put in a buy order for three out of the four cards, you can make at least 60,000 stubs every single hour off one card. If you combine that with four different cards that you are flipping at one time, you are over 200,000 stubs every single hour. Cards you want to look at, Austin Riley, 76 overall. Gary Sanchez, 76 overall. Paul DeYoung, 76 overall. They are flying off of the market. I like to go to filter, 76 overalls, and then live series. But since I already got the names for y'all because y'all dropped a like on the video, you can just put them in. So we'll go to DeYoung real quick. We'll see what his price is looking like. Paul DeYoung, 76 overall. Right now he has a smaller gap. It's like 240 stubs okay but when you do the taxes it's only going to be about 38 coming off of it so 139 is a good price he goes up and down he gets around 500 stubs so if you was to buy five or ten of them right now and just wait for his price to inflate a little later in like two to three hours it would get 450 500 stubs and then you can flip all five of them cards if you don't want to sit and do it right now at 200 and some stubs a piece another card that's going real fast is this 76 overall gary sanchez and you can see he has a pretty bigger gap like 370 380 and then if he takes the 80 off you're going to be at 300 stubs if you can get six to 10 of these 300 stubs every single time, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 1800 stubs per minute. Now, 1800 stubs per minute times 60 minutes to an hour, pull out your calculator and you do the math. Or you can get about 20 to 30 of the cards flip them a little later on in the evening if you want to that method also works so another name is the 76 overall gerada para close to a 500 gap in between with only a 80 stub text coming off so you're making close to 450 stubs on every single time now if you use three of these different cards you do the math, 60,000 stubs or more on each and every card per hour, that'll be 60, 120, 180,000 stubs an hour. Or you can go to the next part and do four of them, that'll be over 200,000 stubs every single hour. Now, do this right away. Get the cards at their lowest, these cards go up and down. Some of these be at 900, a little over 1,000. Get yours right now for the lowest that you can see right now on this video. Stack up on them and flip them. I probably flipped about 15 to 20 of them. Now we're going to get into my inventory. And I got about a 200,000 stub investment into certain cards. So Joe Musgrove is a big investment that I have. And whether he goes diamond or not, he will get over the 46, 4700 range with only 14 of them. I didn't go in 50 or 60 Joe Musgroves, but that's a big profit being that I only got him in the 28, 2900 range. And this Cronenworth, I got 13 of these. Once he hits 35, 3600 and he maxes out, I can either sell these off or if he stays hot for a while, like two to three weeks at a time, betting at least two for four in this game with a few RBIs, I will hold on to him. I got 25 of these CJ Crimes. You can see he's almost up to a thousand quick sale right now. He's at 854. So I'm going to hold on to him. Let the hype keep building or people that are not thinking about him. He can be a sneaky investment. I got him around 250, 300 stubs. You can still, if he does go to gold, make a 500 profit in between every single card that you have. I got 25 of them. So that's about 25 K if he does go gold. Another investment I have is 30 of these Galagos. You can see he is rising up inside edge, Playing up to an 88 overall, 
39.50 you can get him right now 39.50 39.51 it's still a little gap in between if he does go diamond that you could be making almost a thousand stubs every single time a few more cards i would been to double my profit already brand Hayes, i got 37 of them you can get him for the lowest possible 81 overall I feel like with his batting stats, he's been going two for four, two for four, two for four over the next two roster updates, and he gets up to 83, 84 overall. I will be making 2,000 stubs on every single one of these cards minimum, and I got 37 of them. Richard Rodriguez, I got 27 of them. I can get the easy 27,000 stubs off of him. 715 stubs you can get them for right now. That's very high. I got 16 of these Freddy Peraltas right now. I told y'all on the roster update to invest in him, whether you get five of them whether you get 20 of them he's a good investment he don't need too much to get a plus one he should be diamond in the next roster update no questions asked 16 of them is gonna be a pretty decent profit i didn't go all out and get 40 or 50 of them i want to spread this roster update between eight to ten different cards so i can see myself with 200,000 to 300,000 profit minimum but the 78 overall tyler naquin is another sneaky investment i had him for the past two weeks he's still very cheap 205 206 207 stubs that you can get them for and if he goes gold you're gonna be making almost 700 stubs on every investment i got 36 of them i might turn around and go get another 15 to 20 of them i don't mind having about 50 of these all he has to do is get hot stay hot right before the roster update and he will get the plus two he was hot and then he cooled off we need him to get back hot so we can get that plus two and that's going to be an easy 75 to 100 thousand stubs on him if you can get 50 to 100 of them if y'all enjoyed the video we got more cards that we can go over but i got about 10 to 12 different investments it'll take a long time on the video go invest in some of the lower cards go on the market flip some of them stub methods that i showed you the cards are flying off the market before everybody gets on the video and starts hating it's all love if y'all rocking with me i got y'all let's get it